Hey guys, it's David here. We are going to be heading to Nigeria to different... We'll be going to different states, <laughs> cities, towns, and villages. The actual reason why I'm going to Nigeria is because my grandmother has passed, so... Yeah. Now that said, let's go! Let's... All right, so we're in the plane going off. Let's go. All right, so we are in the city of Lagos. It's very crowded here. Lots of people selling stuff. Good stuff, out of the way, not drugs, stuff like that. Uh, very crowded, very fast paced, and yeah. Okay, um, so we are in the hotel. Oh, yeah, after a long ride. Um, the day's about over. And, yeah. Alright, I'm skipping this rubbish that I'm saying, some crap or whatever. And, yeah. So, uh, yeah, we were staying there for a while. Now we're going to River State. Welcome to Portacut. Uh, it's very, very much calmer here. Less um, slower paced and um, yeah, it's pretty nice here. And this is where we're going for the weight keeping, by the way. And hey, there's is more city and stuff like that. All right, guys. So we're back. We're in the hotel and um. Two cut. All right, this is me saying some rubbish, so I'm just going to skip past this. Blah, 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 blah. So, I don't know why, but this hotel is literally called Beverly Hills. I have no idea why, but, and, uh, also, there's this weird thing. Like, like, see this right here? I basically you have to put this key in for the lights to turn on. I don't know what that's about. And yeah. All right. So what you see here are schools and stuff like that, because uh, my grandmother was a professor, and yeah, we're holding the weight keeping near a school. Um, you see here there's, there's more there's more city area. Like Lagos is still city area, but like Portugal is like very city area. And now we're going to Alright, so we are in Ohapia. Um, this is a village. It's actually very quiet here. Uh, this is where I have a... I got, oh, of course, a family in Nigeria, but I have a lot of family here. Um, yeah, it's, it's really peaceful here, and yeah. So, uh, my cousin, he likes to dance, and uh, here's just a few of his dance moves and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, uh, some of them American dance, some of the Nigerian dances. So, we were just having a, a good time there. Uh, this is at my um. My aunt's house, and yeah. Curious. So we still have water <coughs> and everything. Just sometimes we drink water out of a bag. That's cool. So uh, we went around Ohafia, going to different places, checking some farm animals, seeing right family members because um, the events of. Like the wake in and funeral and stuff took uh, place at different times. And yeah. Uh, also, so we went, you know, we visit family in between those times. It's just uh, some video of that one around the, right around the town. And we now we're actually leaving Ohafia. So, 
So we uh, we're, we're, I'm just getting a quick bite Maya. to. And oh, sorry. Guys, if you ever visit Nigeria, this is the city here. This is the city. Uh, right now, we are at the mall. As you can see here. Alright, so we're just getting a quick bite to eat before um, going to the airport at, at the mall. And yeah, we couldn't stay there very long because, you know, we're in a hurry and stuff like that. So we yeah, got some got some complications with the flight and stuff like that. I think it was like again making it in time or scheduling, something like that. So we were going later, so we had to go to this hotel. Alright, so we we're in a hotel um, uh, in Nigeria because our you know our flight and stuff like that. So it's a new hotel, it's called Full Mu Hotel. If you come ever come to Nigeria, go there. It's really good. It's a new hotel, bigger than most hotels in America. Like, even, I've been in really good hotels, but it. Oh yeah, I gave us complimentary ride into the town. Like it's it's really up there in my in the best hotels I've been. In. I've been in really good hotels. Um, and in Nigeria, we don't use dollars. We use uh, naira. Uh, yeah. 360 naira will give you one dollar all right so we are uh leaving umaya going to the airport so we can go to lagos then um to america so yeah So we had a good time in Ohafia, family, family and friends, stuff like that, yeah. So, um, so first of all, going back to, going out, leaving Nigeria, going to London, things are very different. Um, they're like, like some terms that we would use in Nigeria. I can't, I don't really use those terms. I won't use those terms in London. Um, yeah, I, the things are just really different that I had to, you know, you know, get my mind back straight, but, uh, our flight was like placed 11 hours or like, or so from when we landed. So we're going to be here for a while going to Stanford Bridge. You guys don't know what Stanford Bridge is. That's, that's the Chelsea Stadium. Um you know, using some pounds and stuff like that. Um, there's more cars around. Well, at least like less traffic. There are a lot of cars in Nigeria, but like the, the streets look a little bit more organized. And um, yeah, so we had some good times, took a couple of pictures and stuff like that. Yeah, had a blast. Right, so we are back in America, and um, yeah, so I had a blast in Nigeria, met a lot of friends, family, ha had a good time, so yeah, but in the beginning of the video, I said that I went to going to Nigeria because my grandmother had died, and, was, and I'm starting to kill the mood, but I have to talk about this, so to reflect on this, and I've learned a lot from this, and the one, the one thing I learned from this is that you should savor every time you're with your loved ones because we had no idea this was going to happen. Like, she just got promoted. Um, she was really healthy, like, the day before. She was healthy. She was physically active. She was really in good shape. And this has happened all of a sudden. So you should savor every moment you have with your loved ones because you never know what can happen the next day but uh yeah closing that topic i hope you enjoy documentary and